We give Luna and Jane these kitty crunchies because it helps them clean their teeth. And they especially like the ones that taste like milk. You want to know some interesting insect facts, Luna, about taste? Different insects use different part of their bodies to taste. Flies and butterflies taste with their feet. Honeybees taste through their antenna. And crickets taste with the same part of their body they use to lay eggs. How strange is that? Oh, you're done. All your tasting is done. Good girl. Let's go talk about animal body parts. Hi, we're gonna do a stretching game to review insect body parts. So stand up and how many legs does an insect have? Six, so we're gonna jump with our legs six times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many body parts does an insect have? Three, so we're gonna clap three times. One, two, three, for three different body parts. How many antenna does an insect have? Two, wiggle your antenna. Okay, now I'm gonna say it and you're gonna do it. How many legs? One. How many body parts? How many feelers? Okay, let's try it again. Feelers. Body parts. Legs. Did you jump six times? Body parts. Did you clap three times? Feelers. Legs. Feelers. Legs. Body parts. One more time. Legs. Antenna. Body parts. I just noticed I'm saying feelers and antenna. They both mean the same thing. Antenna is the more scientific term for it, but feelers are also the same word as antenna. Okay, now we're gonna go talk about something else that has to do with insect bodies called adaptation. Adaptations are behaviors or parts of the body that help an animal survive in its environment. We're gonna read a book about beetles and talk about some of the adaptations that certain beetles have. We're gonna to focus today just on body parts. This is called Beetles Are Built Like Tanks by Matt Rare and Drew Falecha. Falcetta, sorry. Tanks are heavy fighting machines. They're made to go into dangerous places and survive anything. Many beetles are built like tanks. Tanks have a hard body made of steel. This is called armor. This hard armor protects the people inside. Beetles have their own natural armor. Their outside wings are hard and thick, just like the steel armor of a tank. But what are they protecting? This is a rhinoceros beetle. Most beetles use their outside wings to protect their thin inside wings. These inside wings are important. They use these wings to fly. This is an atlas beetle. You can see the inside wings are much more delicate. This tortoise beetle uses its outside wings to protect its inside wings and its legs. When danger is near, it squats down and clings to the ground. An enemy insect will be able to pick up this beetle. Tanks are not great flyers and they're not very fast, but they can push through lots of obstacles, things that get in their way. Some tanks can drive through water and others can drive through fire. Beetles also survive in difficult places. Some live underground and some live in extremely hot deserts. Diving beetles spend a lot of time in the water hunting for food. They use their large back legs to swim. They also carry air under their outside wings so they can breathe underwater. Powerful tanks can knock down walls, but they can't climb walls. This is where beetles have an advantage. Some beetles have sticky pads on the bottom of their feet. This allows them to walk up buildings and across ceiling, walk up walls and across ceilings. 
hard to find. Tanks are painted to blend in with the world around them. This is called, what? I know you know this, camouflage. It's much more difficult to attack a tank that can't be seen. Many beetles have outside wings that blend in with the world around them. For example, this leaf beetle looks like a leaf. Stop, or this beetle will shoot. The most frightening part of any tank is the tank gun. These guns have the power to shoot many bullets quickly and cause a lot of damage. Some beetles shoot too. This beetle sprays a hot liquid from its body. This liquid is as hot as boiling water. This is called a bombardier beetle. This liquid burns the skin or the eyes of any animal attacking it. And like tanks, this beetle can aim in any direction. And that frog is saying, ouch, that burns. So that's good protection for that beetle. Ladybugs ooze a liquid from their knees. It doesn't shoot like a gun, but it smells horrible and warns animals to stay away. And that bird is saying, gross, what is that smell? In the end, tanks are tough, but they can be defeated. They can break down or be blown up. Still, one of the safest places in a war zone is inside a tank. Beetles are tough, but every day some are squashed and some are eaten. There are many animals bigger than beetles. There are many animals faster than beetles. There are many animals heavier than beetles. But there aren't many animals as tough as they are. So I read you just part of this book, Beetles Are Built Like Tanks, to look at some of the ways that beetles use their body parts to adapt to their environment, to adapt to the world around them. Let's look at a few of the examples from the book. Here's a chart of insect adaptations, specifically looking at, oops, sorry, beetles. The first body part we're gonna talk about are those outside wings. Here's a picture of the jewel beetle climbing up the wall. That beetle had sticky pads on its feet. And why did it have the sticky pads? Just so it could get around easier and walk on walls and across ceilings, right. Remember those ladybugs? They had something that came out of what body part? Yeah, their knees, a liquid that came out of the knees. Sorry, all of a sudden, my picture's getting really fuzzy, so we'll get through this. So, the beetle has liquid coming from its knees, and what does it use that for? It gives out a bad smell that warns predators away. That's right. So, your assignment is to think about some other insects and what body parts they might use to adapt to their environment.